Hi guys, this is Jessica with Tiny Worlds of Wonder, and I'm back today with a video that's a little different from the videos um, I've been sharing on my channel so far. I've recently had some friends discover diamond painting, and one of the first questions they've asked me has been how to decide what size diamond painting to order. There are so many sizes to choose from, from um, AliExpress and New Frog and Peggy Buy and Amazon, and the whole thing can be really confusing when you're first starting out. So I'm gonna share some tips and tricks today that I use when ordering my own diamond paintings, and I hope that helps some of you new diamond painters when you're choosing your paintings for the first time. Diamond paintings are basically mosaics of pixelated dots. So ordering a diamond painting that's too small for the level of detail you want in your finished piece can be really disappointing. And unfortunately, dealers will sell you anything, whether it looks good or not. So quick disclaimer here, these are rules of thumb I use when ordering my paintings, but I really can't guarantee a perfect result for your own painting. Beauty really is in the eye of the beholder, so what looks good to me may not meet your standards, or you may feel like a smaller size would still look good. I'm gonna be talking in generalities only today, so please let your artistic eye be your guide. Usually diamond paintings are measured in centimeters, ranging from about 15 to 20 to upwards of 100 or more. A little side note here, if you have trouble visualizing in centimeters, you can convert the dimensions um, of your painting to inches by dividing the centimeters by 2.54. So for example, a 90 centimeter painting is approximately 35.43 inches. For our purposes, I'm gonna classify diamond paintings into a couple of sizes here today. Now these are not official sizes, but for our purposes on this video, it will help to organize things just a little bit. So today I'm gonna to be calling a small diamond painting somewhere in the vicinity of 20 centimeters. So this might be a 15 by 20, a 20 by 20, or a 20 by 30, for example. I'm gonna call a medium diamond painting a 30 by 40, or a 40 by 50, so somewhere in the range of 40 centimeters. And then a large painting might be something in the range of 60 centimeters, so maybe a 50 by 65, 50 by 75, or a 60 by 80. And then of course, they also make massive, lifelong projects, extra large diamond paintings, which I'll call something above 80 centimeters. Now there are two basic considerations to think about when you're deciding on a size for your painting. They are, number one, the size of the main subject or subjects in the painting, and two, the kind of shading that's used in the original artwork. So right here, I'd like to get into a couple of examples and show you why I think they work at each size. So here's an example of a painting that I would be comfortable ordering in a small size, like 20 by 20. The main subject depicted in this painting takes most of the total image area and the level of shading detail is basically light and dark. So a light shade of a color and a dark shade of a color. You can see that with the smallest size, you're really limited to cartoon style line art drawings or more graphic pieces with, without too much detail. For any image, it really is safe to go bigger, but it's not always safe to go smaller. Um, just a note here, I'm going to insert a card in the upper right um, with links to some YouTubers who've done paintings at various sizes that I think turned out well. So look for those little cards popping up as I go through each size. Now here are a couple of images that I'd feel comfortable ordering at a medium size. For all of these, the main subject takes up most of the total image area, and the level of shading detail is basically a light tone, a mid-tone, and a dark tone. If there are faces in these images, they're large, and the smallest details don't have to be super clear to be understood. Medium paintings really are amazing. They aren't a huge commitment of time, but the results can be really beautiful. For most paintings with any level of fine detail, large is the way to go. Diamond paintings in this category are a must when there are several smaller subjects in the original artwork, or if the main subject takes up less than half of the total real estate of the image. If the style of shading has tons of micro variations in color, large paintings are really the only way to render them clearly. 
If the image pictures faces with expressions that affect the aesthetic of the piece, a large size is totally a must. If you want to do a painting where all the subjects are small, you're definitely going to need an extra large size. This example really has to be done in an extra large size to communicate any detail at all. These paintings are a huge investment of time, but the results are absolutely phenomenal. Like I said earlier, there's no perfect formula for choosing the perfect size for every painting, but I hope you found some of these tips that I use in my own ordering helpful. Um, I made an infographic that I'm going to pop up on the screen here if you want to take a screenshot so you can refer to it the next time you order. Um, there are tons of diamond painters on YouTube with all kinds of projects in all kinds of sizes, and the post reviews or show and tell videos that you find on YouTube can be a great way to get a feel for the kinds of images that look good in various sizes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back soon with some more videos that will help you get started if you're new to diamond painting, as well as my usual show and tell diamond paintings and unboxing videos. If you liked this video or you found it helpful, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And I'd be so honored if you would share these tips with some new diamond painters in your life. Spread some joy wherever you are today, and I will catch you next time.